those two are probably went back to their rooms. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and check their rooms then. It's Kyoko's. It's Kiyotaka's. Mondo. Biakuya. Saika. Junko. Toko. And is she there? Oh, she is. Nani? Dare. Uh, that's the negative aura we know. An aura of total decay. Yeah, you don't look too happy. <laughs> she's annoyed, but she's coming out at least. Yeah, we want to uh, talk to you. Yeah, Sakura asked you to meet with you, right? What? You don't know what we're talking about? Because you already told me she asked to meet with him. What? She wanted to meet with Master too? Ah, I just said two, didn't I? Yep, you did. It's totally obvious now. Pretty much. So, can you tell me? I admit, I did get the note. But I didn't go see her. I was scared, so I couldn't bring myself to go. Hmm, Togo claims the same. Can we believe her? Well, we need to be able to prove it otherwise. Because else you know, it's just her word against a wild accusation. So that just leaves Yasuhiro, who should be down here somewhere, I think. Yeah, this is his room. Let's see if he's out. Or he he's in, I should say. Daddy. Yeah, we needed something. Uh, we want to check. if uh, It's about how Sakura wanted to meet with you. How do we know about that? Oh, we totally gazed into your soul. Yep. Our special abilities have awakened. You're not the only one she wanted to meet with. Ogre told me herself that she asked Biakuya and Togo to come too. When did she tell you that? Oh, well, when she asked me to meet with her, of course. But didn't she write you a note? Yeah, a note. She, uh, she gave it to me in person and she happened to mention the others, like in passing. This seems the most suspicious out of all three. So then you went and met with Sakura? No way. Why would I ever do that? Very suspicious. Last time I saw Ogre was when Hina got hurt and I took her to the nurse's office. I haven't seen her since. That is very contradicting because you told her she gave you the note in person and Sakura only gave that after the nurse's office. Uh, do I still have it? Let's see. Mm. Nope, he doesn't have it anymore. Of course he doesn't. Oh, something's fluttering to the ground that fell out of his pocket. It's... A candy wrapper. Hmm, he snatches it back up and shoves it back. Sorry, just a bit of trash you forgot that. I think that's way too suspicious. But yeah, Ogre asked to meet you, but you never went. So if you'll excuse me. Okay, Yasuhiro's slipping back into his room. He said it was trash, but there's no way there, that's all there was to it. Because that is the same wrapper of the candy that only Hina had access to. And, um... There, there has to be something she vomited that can only be because of poison so either her protein drink was poisoned or the candy was poisoned the candy was either poisoned by Hina if Hina did it or Yasuhiro somehow took some from Hina and then poisoned that so yeah maybe we should find out more about the protein can so yeah we should probably head over to the chemistry lab I think uh, I think I'll start with that so let's get out our map and go over there should be on like the fourth floor right yeah um right over here let's uh, check inside okay well that definitely looks suspicious 
Did you have your eye on the chem like that too? Of course we do. We won't get in your way. You got it. And no, I, I, I meant to say what I meant to say. This definitely uh, does not look good. Um, I don't know why I meant... I, I meant to look at the broken bottle in front of it. Shelves have been connected to make one big shelf, but more important, what's the powder that's been spilled in front of it? We have to be careful to not step in it. There are footprints all in it, though. These are footprints? They're only in front of the left shelf. Hmm. Are they related? We may need to sketch out the floor plan. <laughs> so, of course, we have to do it. None. Thank you. Let's uh, go ahead and draw a sketch of the room. So, how is this? Hmm. Not bad. Well, but yeah, this one looks interesting. It would appear whoever left these footprints only had business at the leftmost shelf. They came in, went straight to that shelf, did whatever they had to do, and then left. That's what the footprints tell me. So these footprints must be... Are they yours? Nope. Definitely not ours. So let me see your shoes. Sure, let's uh, show them. And yeah, our feet are too big. So they're not our footprints. Should be quite easy to determine who they belong to. So they are really a valuable clue. Okay, but we have a broken bottle here too. This broken bottle, is this where all the powder came from? And it's the Chem C4. I would like to hear something interesting. You were on the fourth floor taking things in. At that point, this room wasn't like this. So the powder must have been spilled around the time of the incident. Hmm. So it must be related to the case somehow. Can we check the powder itself? There's a bunch of yellow powder scattered on the floor. There's a bunch of yellow powder. There's the remains of a bro broken bottle, Chem C4, and some footprints there too. So yeah, whoever it was only went on the left side of the shelf. And the powder would have been spilled right around the incident. That's all we can tell for now. Okay. I want to check the left shelf. There's all kinds of dietary supplements and different medicines. Protein drink probably came from this shelf. All the containers are labeled with the letter A and the number. So I guess I can consider this part of the shelf. Except for that one on the left, that's C9. This bottle is C9. Could someone have put it here on accident? That belongs on the right shelf then, right? Nothing but dangerous chemicals, poisons, and other powerful chemicals. All the containers are leveled with the letter C. So this is C. Yep, that is very suspicious. And this shelf, just some bunch of chemicals that we don't really know. <laughs> they're re reagents. But simply, they're using experiments to bring out a chemical reaction. How have you lived in such ignorance? Uh, that's kind of mm. harsh, but yeah. What do you think studying science and mathematics has no practical application? The world of a lifelong loser. I suppose it suits you well. Sure, anyway, it doesn't matter. We need to focus on the shelf. All the containers are leveled with the letter B and a number. Well, I do see something out of the ordinary about the other shelves, though. Looks like it's split into three sections. Section A has dietary, section B reagents, and section C has the chemicals that are lethal. Sakura must have gotten the protein powder from section A, but there's something with a bottle from section C in there. And that's the poison. What's the, it doing there? That's definitely suspicious. Well, yeah, maybe... Uh, let's uh, head back to the... To the room now. I don't think there's anything else of note in here. It doesn't appear to be so. Yeah, we'll just leave and I'll meet you guys back over in the recreation room. Okay. Yeah. So, how's the investigation going? Well, it's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Along with Bia Creed, they're both claiming they didn't go see her, but it's too convenient. Someone must be lying. Someone is lying. I've made some progress on my own. Sucker's body, the shelf of magazines, and the Monokuma bottles. These three things have revealed new clues. You'd do well to look them over one more time. Okay. Well, let's uh, start with Sakura's body. Still something to be discovered. Yeah. Just staring off in space isn't going to help you. Yeah, I know. No. Don't you think you might need to actually examine the body? <sighs> There's no getting around it. Okay, fine. We'll, we'll do it. 
Uh, there are times. Well, I can't believe how calm we are. No matter how many times I see a body, I can't get used to it. Well, it's totally normal. So how can you? It's because she's had plenty of opportunities to touch that bodies. Sorry, never mind. Anyway, look over here. On her shoe, there's that w yellow powder. See the yellow powder on her instep? It stands out. That powder is clue number one. Okay, definitely. Next is the wound to her head. Look carefully. It's incredibly difficult to spot. Let me just explain. She didn't suffer a single blow, but received two blows. I called it. You know, there's two bottles missing. So they must have hit her twice with two bottles, except one bottle has completely disappeared, as well as the figure, but the other one has not. Answering when you say, and there's one more interesting thing. Both of her hands were spotless. There's no trace of blood on either one. So that's what I learned from examining her body. Okay. Hmm. It's a lot to learn. Very interesting. But yeah, the bottles. Two are missing. I already knew that though. Something grew new. Something new. No. So did you figure it out? There's a hidden correlation between all the bottles. Pay careful attention. I already found it. I already found it the first time. Then again, I've played a lot of chess, so it 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 I, I just immediately start to look at that. Uh, Makoto, you are an idiot sometimes. You really, really are an idiot. But yeah, okay, giving you my conclusion is a good idea. Every person needs to come to their own conclusions so they can have confidence in the outcome. And it's not because you don't trust me. No answer. I do trust you to a degree, else we wouldn't have told you anything. True. The Monokuma bottle has been updated. Actually, there's one other thing about the Monokuma bottles. I'd like to do an experiment to confirm it. You don't mind helping me. An experiment? You can gather up all the pieces of the broken bottle. Try to get smaller pieces too. Sure, we can. We've done enough investigation and Biakuya isn't here, so... Yeah, okay. Uh, she's gonna go to the chemistry lab and... Sure, we'll uh, do it. Let's pick up the broom and dustpan and get to work. And just as we finish up, yeah. there are Kyoko's again. Let's uh, get to work. So what kind of experiment yeah. are we doing? A skill from the chemistry lab. We're going to use it to compare weights. Right, we're going to compare all, all the shards with one of the actual bottles. And also uh, weigh, of course, the little figure. And if the shards plus the figure add up to more than one bottle, then we know that this these shards contain uh, shards from more than one bottle. <laughs> piece of glass and the monokuma balls are intact. It's point of an experiment. Okay. Let's compare the weight of the two normal monokuma bottles. They are imbalanced. Doesn't make full sense because the figures like the chess pieces are different and I would expect a slight difference but okay it's balanced. So each monokuma bottle weighs about the same which makes sense. Figures are basically the same and nothing else could really affect the weight. Yeah. Not the important part. Put all the pieces you picked up on one side of the scale. What one you expect to see, the normal assumption would be that they'll balance out or the pieces will be lighter. I did my best, but there's a chance I could have missed some here and there. Yeah. So let's give it a try. But no, it's a lot heavier. Broken pieces are heavier. That means that they must be from more than one bottle. Yeah, buddy. As I thought. The results of our experiment and correlation between each of the bottles, put it all together, no. I believe you will arrive at one very persuasive conclusion. What do you think? Yep, I already know. Okay, let's uh, check the shelf one last time. Oh, the shelf itself, I mean. Jerry said the magazine shelf was hiding clues. Huh? This magazine is upside down. Miss Muscle appears. Someone put it back that way in accident? Yeah. Someone catch your eye? It's important to explore it in detail. I think you're right. Let's pick up the infrared magazine. This is Toko. One of the pages? A word had been written in blood, bloody letters. It said Toko. Could this be a dying message? Yeah. It appears we found it. Kyoko is this? It is the dying message. Someone used their finger to write it. However, 
she said that Sakura had no blood on her fingers, right? So Sakura didn't write it herself. The actual killer wrote this to put us off the wrong track. So I think we can exclude Toko as well. My signs are pointing to Yasuhiro. With the Candy River being suspicious, his uh, testimony with how he met, he, how he didn't meet with Sakura, very suspicious. He would also definitely put the blame on someone else, like on, um, like on Toko. So yeah, hmm, seems suspicious. But yeah, you're not the one who put it back upside down. It was found that way when we found it a little while. So yeah. Okay, is that, it says Toko, right? Looks like it. Then she's the killer? No, it hasn't been confirmed. No, she's not. Hina, please. This is not conclusive evidence because, well, it seems too easy. And the thing is that Sakura doesn't have blood on her fingers, so she didn't write it. But is that already all of the investigating that we get to do? ね、出たね、出た。お前らの捜査が退屈すぎて、出ちゃってたよ。やっちゃうよ。いいっすか?やっちゃってもいいっすか?じゃあ、学級裁判を始めます。お前らはいつもの場所に、宿宿号してください。
I see you've gone for an Egyptian team this time around, Monokuma. That's so few, you must be so lonely. Uh, it's your fault that we're all that's left. I wonder, will the class trial end with one less classmate again? Or will your school life come to an end completely? Now then, are we ready to begin? You know the drill. Find your assigned seats. And so, the curtain opens for a fourth time. A deadly judgment, a deadly deception, a deadly betrayal, a deadly riddle, a deadly defense, a deadly fate, a deadly class trial. Which, of course, we will start next time. Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed it and you want to see more, then consider subscribing to my channel down below. And while you are down there, maybe leave a thumbs up on this video if you enjoyed it. And I will see you all next time.